really want to thank these guys' families. Again, I want to thank our institution. Um, everybody working there from our athletic department to the people running these amazing academic programs that attract these guys. We're, we're really privileged to be able to represent Stevens and uh, we're just really glad that we can uh, put on a really good show and, and uh, yeah, just make a lot of all that support that we've got. Um, and I want to thank these guys. Again, uh, we have a very clear vision of how we want to finish uh, what started here 25 months ago, and I think we're pretty focused about that, aren't we? Yeah, and um, I want to give one really big thank you I think is critical to all of our competition. Um, our competition has been unbelievable this year in preparing us for these moments to be great. I want to thank uh, Messiah. They have put us through the ringer time and time again. They're an unbelievable team. To see a team that's aligned around their values and their faith and uh, that is that tight-knit, I didn't see them break apart for one second, not for an inch. And I was really, really impressed with um, the way they've competed over the years with us. And they, they in large part, have made us the team that we are. And I just want to thank our competitors for being just so excellent. Um, and uh, yeah, not just them, but everybody that we've played this year. And uh, we're looking forward to a really tough match in the finals against North Central. And uh, we are looking forward to them uh, playing some great ball. And we, we can't wait for that competition to be uh, a tough one, I'm sure. But uh, I think we're ready, aren't we? Yeah. All right, questions? Loud, you guys hit, I think the word I used in the broadcast was a sizzling 422 for the match, siding out at above 80% in two of the three sets. Just talk about what the offensive game plan was going tonight and, and how you guys were able to execute it at such a high level. Yeah, I just want to thank my passers. They made my job really easy, it felt like. Um, there was only a few times where I felt like I was truly out of system. Uh, so we were able to run that efficient offense that uh, we keep working hard on in practice. I'd also like to thank my hitters, just making me look good. It's my job to make them look good. So as long as they're getting the kills and like they're giving me my feedback that I need to hear, um, they're going to keep destroying those balls, which is what we love to see. Percy, you guys held Mason Nisley Comac Player of the Year, well below his season average. It's really brought down his efficiency. Um, a big part of that, you know. Block set up, pinching on the back, um, some center back defense. What did you guys really key on that you wanted to execute with your defensive game plan? Um, I mean, we played Messiah. Is this the third time this this season? Sure. Um, you know, and uh, he, obviously they're an amazing team. Like Matt Nav and him have a great connection, and he's really hard to stop. Um, so part of our game plan is kind of centered around just slowing him down and doing our best against him. He's going to get good kills, but. Um, but we, we just did a good enough job, I guess. <laughs> you guys yeah, went 13, 1, and 15 down the middle through Hoke and Fulner. Um, pretty impressive stuff. Was there a time in the match where you had isolated that as a potential mismatch to take advantage of? And, and Percy, from that standpoint now, when you're having middle production, what does that do for you as an outside attacker? It gives me some breaks, some nice breaks, which is nice. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, Tyler Hoke is insane. He's only a freshman, um, just totally absurd. He, he's very wise beyond his years, I think. And, uh, and Connor's been an instrumental part of our team since he, he became healthy again um, at the beginning of our junior year. So I, I'm just super proud of both of them. And, uh, and yeah, we knew we would have a great time, especially uh, uh, when we were passing well and uh, their blockers had to kind of pick who they were going to front. So <coughs> just as like a general rule, it's usually a good idea to get the middles going early, free up the pins if it's available. And once they like, they, they kind of struggled to stop the middles as well, which is like a part of our, uh, a crucial part of our offense. So it was really nice to see the success out of there as well. Coach, I couldn't help but notice late in each set, you were pretty quick to respond with a timeout. Um, even when, you know, the scoreboard might not typically call for one. Um, what was the intention and purpose behind that decision uh, from you and your staff? Uh, I'll, I'll be really straightforward about it. We were, we were deadly serious about sending a message. And um, both those servers are unbelievably good. And I did not have an interest in letting them uh, get even the tiniest little bit of rhythm or uh, flow on that serve. We went up 2-0 and we had to go uh, to a fifth set in that conference championship match. So they're, 
you know, I saw it from the guys first, and frankly, I just kind of backed up and was like, hey, like, we're not going to let you feel good from the service line. Um, there was nothing about what we were doing out there that was trying to mess around with the team like that because we respect them so much. They are just that good from the service line. And so my intent was just to make sure they didn't feel a good rhythm back there. So that obviously, sorry, I called my phone. Uh, that speaks to the type of preparation that you guys have and demonstrated throughout the year. Stephen has been known to be on those teams that does their due diligence. You're going to get, you guys have shown you give everyone the best game every night. And so when you were coming in here, when you were preparing, were you, number, first question is, were you expecting a gym to be as packed and as lively as it was tonight? Because <laughs> what, from what I saw, it was a little shell shocking. You guys started to thrive from it. So talk to me about that. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, that was incredible from Messiah. Um, I, I just want to breathe. I'm curious what their answer is, but I will just share that I am really impressed uh, and admire their community. Um, I think it's amazing the way that that community gathers around those guys, and why wouldn't they? They're a really special group. I did not expect that. What about you guys? Yeah, there's some incredible school spirit. I mean, it's just like amazing that they got like that many people <laughs> for like an away game. Um, yeah. I was really impressed by their school spirit. That was incredible. Yeah, me too. But also, we, we kind of dealt with it last year at Carthage in the semifinals. And uh, even when we played Carthage in the regular season this year, it's just, it's unlike playing in any other gym in Division Three. It's just really absurd. And uh, obviously, in the semifinals last year, it wasn't uh, all uh, fans of the team that we were playing. But uh, it was very overwhelming at the beginning of this game, all the Messiah fans. So props to them. Yeah. Yeah. Just as a quick follow up to that, coach, like how do you get your how'd you get your guys back to business, uh, back to the business of winning? Because obviously, a uh, person just said that at the very beginning it's very overwhelming. Messiah went up maybe about two or three points in the first set, but at a certain point it was 10 4, and then there was a timeout, Messiah, and you guys were firmly in control. So, what were some of the things you did as a coach to kind of get them back on page, uh, back on the same page? Yeah, I, I would love to hear their perception of what I'm going to give you for a quick answer was just our preparation. Like, we prepared for all of this. You know, it's very intentional to play Vassar home and away. We knew they were going to have a great team. Um, I do want to circle back full full circle to say, like, hey, we, we scheduled those matches on purpose. You know, like, we wanted to be put through the ringer. And uh, that, that, that Vassar environment was tough. That environment at Carthage was tough. And I think that is part of our preparation, let alone the ways that we prepare to be mentally tough. Uh, we, we have a lot of different processes to make sure that we can be fully in the moment. Um, a lot of things actually, to, to be frank from, um, you know, yeah, there's a lot of great researches out there that you can look up that we're really resourceful about. And I, I think our preparation is just totally honed to this moment. Would you guys agree with that? I would. Yeah. A lot of it was preparation, and like a lot of it was like setting expectations going in. Like we knew this wasn't gonna be easy, and we knew like, they were going to have a lot of fight in them, so he kind of just reassured that that's going to happen and like, how are we going to deal with it? So he put us in those situations and we were able to adjust for them. Coach, you mentioned earlier you've had a nationally prominent schedule all year long, one of the toughest in the country. Looking it up, you've played seven of the other top ten teams in the country, and including your route in the NCAA tournament for a rematch with Wentworth, a rematch with Messiah, but we've got a new opponent waiting for us on Sunday. I know you had mentioned your excitement, but what are, uh, what are some challenges that come with seeing an opponent on the floor for the first time that you haven't already matched up with this year? Yeah, that's a great question. I, I'll, I'll tell you this much. I don't have a ton that I can answer you with because I just wasn't looking past Messiah because we just respect that team so much. We really, really do. Um, the challenge that I am anticipating is that we have some film to watch. We have some due diligence to do. Um, they have some really big boys that I think are going to be interesting to match up with. You know, For the most part, we've been able to step on the court and kind of get up on some guys. And our goal all year long, tell me if I'm not wrong about this, but... I mean, that is really big. Percy's big and strong team in some way. But we really challenge ourselves to be the biggest, fastest, strongest team in the country. We really do. And I think North Central poses some challenges in that way. And these guys have worked their tails off in the weight room. We really have. And that prepares us for those moments. But the challenges that I see are that we got to get familiar with their servers. we got to get familiar with their offense. we gotta, we got to understand that there's some things they're doing really well for as a, just as competitors. And uh, we just got to make sure that our guys don't have any surprises when they step out on the court. So we, we have some homework to do tomorrow, and we're just we're really grateful we have a day to, to do that homework. <laughs> but I couldn't tell you exactly what it is. I, I just was really consumed with Messiah because that's just such an excellent team. Any more? All right, gentlemen, congratulations. Best of luck. Thank you.